previously. Flip, flip morphing jar for five oh, cards. No! <laughs> on Progression Series Season 2. Fiber Jar! It's all going back, no. baby! It's all going back! <laughs> I'm, the I'm the fool here. Yeah, you're yep. looking like a fool, that it? Oh, my. It. Look at all these cards in my hand, Alex! Look at all these cards! In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time, around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. This is the final week for the Elestrals Kickstarter, and this new collectible card game has sent shockwaves throughout the community. Having raised over one million dollars, there is an eager fan base ready to dive in and make Elestrals the next big card game franchise. Elestrals combines some of the best elements of trading card games you know and love, such as Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic the Gathering. What makes Elestrals unique is the spirit mechanic, which combines your life points, energy, and mana all in one, making the game relatively easy to pick up and learn, but incredibly difficult to master. This is your final opportunity to back the Elestrals Kickstarter and pick up the Founders Edition, which includes special alternate variants of cards that will never be printed after this Kickstarter concludes. So click the link down in the description, back the Kickstarter now before it's too late. And if you back this Kickstarter right now, you'll receive exclusive beta access to the online digital app for Elestrals. It was truly a nail-biter last episode, but hopefully we can chain together a few wins moving forward here. We have the wheel in front of us from last week, and this is going to be an, a really big one. The Wheel of Crimson Crisis offers us a whole bunch of really good cards in the Secret Rare and Below section. Super Rare can still get us something banger like a Dark Strike Fighter. Any slices on the wheel except the Rare is going to be really good. We dodged the bullet last week because Alex got the bottom of the barrel. But let's hope we are not in the same boat. Click it a few times. Give me a really good spin. Haven't seen much of the Snatch deal, but banned tickets are unbanned tickets, so I'd like to see something like that. Yes, that's a- oh my god, that's a huge one! Wild card promo! The promo slice, bro. I haven't seen this one yet myself, and there's been tons of options that I've been kind of like throwing around a little bit to see what's the best here. It's really rough, because uh, there's cards like Harpy's Feather Duster, which is still a promo locked card that I'm able to obtain. The other card that I'm thinking about picking up, this is kind of a wacky one, is a card like Thousand Eyes Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict is something that's already in Alex's pool that he's already able to combine with something like Magical Scientist, or he's able to combine it with Instant Fusion, but he hasn't. I don't know why. But that's definitely something that's been on my radar. I, it's hard to say, bro. The promo is such a good slice on the wheel. It's hard to pass up Harpy's Feather Duster. I, I can't pass it up. I gotta take it. I think eventually we'll hit a point where we decide to gentleman it out, uh, hit it with the, the judgment. But at the moment, I am going to take a copy of Harpy's Feather Duster and put it in my own deck. Yeah, it looks like we don't get a Harpy's Feather Duster until Battle Pack years later, man. I definitely gotta take a copy of this. I will be taking a copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, putting it in my own collection. Good luck, Alex. Let's hope you don't play a back row deck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I lost last episode. Now, in all fairness, last episode kicked ass. So regardless of who won, I think you guys are pretty happy with it. And this episode, I think, is going to follow suit because looking at the quality of cards we can pull out of Gold Series 09, this is going to be a lot of fun. So this is the second Gold Series to be released. And just look at the potential here, right? So we have the Monarchs, which we've never had Caius in the Progression Series. This originally came from a starter deck or a structure deck, excuse me. Rise is also something that I think Gage has one copy of, but then that's it. All the other Monarchs also come in here in common. Zaborg, Mobius, Thestalos, and Grandmark. And so this means that Gage can bolster his Monarch strategy. I have the potential to actually play Monarchs, period, because up until now, I just had two copies of Thestalos and nothing else. So I'm really looking forward to that. But we also have a lot of other stuff in here as well. Dark Arm Dragon in particular is very scary because I have a copy of this, but Gage does not. And so there are only three gold rares per pack and we're opening five. That's still a pretty good chance that he can actually pull a Dark Arm Dragon. So I'm not particularly looking forward to that. Test Tiger's in here potentially for the Gladiator Beast Strat 
although I banned Bestiari. So unless Gage gets like an unbanned ticket to unban that, I'm not too worried about this. But Gold Sarcophagus, this is another card we've never had access to because this, similar to like Crush card, was a prize card prior. And again, it's something we've never had in progression series. So this actually adds a lot to this episode. And I'm just talking about the gold wares. I mean, the commons are pretty good as well. I mean, we have all the monarchs down here. We have all the six Sam stuff, which six Sam's are particularly relevant in my champion packs that I get to open because I could pull a great Shogun Sheen, and that actually solidifies my six samurai pool pretty significantly. Everything else in here, I feel like we already have play sets of if we don't already, but we'll definitely have to keep an eye out. So let's open three packs of champion pack eight. Show me a Sheen. I think everything else in this pack is pretty irrelevant. Let's see what we get. Royal Oppression might actually be relevant because I think I only had two copies when I played it in the episode, one or two episodes back. So if I have three of this now, I'm not going to complain, but I'd like to see a Sheen at the very least. Nothing there. Uh, Necroguard is not terrible though. I don't know if we'll ever need it, but it's a good card to have. Nothing in the last pack either. Barrow from a different dimension isn't terrible though, I will say. There could be some uses for this. So uh, five packs of Gold Series 2009 coming right up. I don't have to open any of the pity packs today. I get to just hop right into one of the coolest sets, bro. Gold Series Two. Only five packs of Gold Series 2, so it should be a swift opening today. There's a few things that I've got my eye on that I really, really want to pick up from this Gold Series, though. Cards like Caius, Dark Arm Dragon are reprinted in this set. Uh, absolutely insane monsters. We haven't had access to Caius before. I've got it up here. We'll take a look. Alex will be going over this a little bit more depth, but cards that I really want to look for is Caius, Dad, Gold Sark, Mind Control. These are all really good cards. All the Monarchs in the common reprints is quite dandy, too. Test Tiger would be nice if we could unban that bestiary. Still haven't pulled the unban ticket yet. Don't worry about it. All right, so we got uh, we got a couple redoers on our hands too. This is going to be one of the ones where if I don't pull a Caius or a Dad, I'm pretty sure I will respin it. Gold Series 2009, five booster packs. Look how packed they are. Let's see what we get. Flip them up. First things first. Looking for the hollows. So you can see a lot of the commons really, really strong in this set here. Cards like Six Samurai United is good. All the Monarchs. Neo say at least we have a billion of them, though. Uh, our gold rares are Royal Firestorm Guard, Future Fusion, and Mind Control. Those three are pretty good. I wanted a Mind Control, actually, and Firestorm Guard is okay if we can buff out on the Volcanic cards. I think I need another Shell to be able to complete my set. Did it get reprinted in this? I don't know. Pack numero two. I'll leave the best for last there. More commons. Nice, nice, nice. Treeborn Frog is a pretty good pick up there. The gold rares, Captain Gold, Sangin, Des Volstagaff. That's no good. I don't want either any of those cards. Man, I just love opening these because look how many cards there are. 25 cards per pack is insane. And so we can probably expect all the commons, which is I'm actually pretty excited about because that means I get three Zaborg, three Mobius, like guaranteed. That's sick. But let's see what we get here in our gold rares. Pack number one, flip them up. Future Fusion, I think we already have, so I'm not like as excited about that as I could be. Another Necro Garden is kind of funny. And uh, good old Captain Gold, if we want to play uh, some little, little city again. But it is what it is. Looking at the rest of the commons, there's a Zaborg. I think we're good on Compulses. Uh, I think we're good on Neos Alias. I think we're good on Treeborn Frog. I don't think there's anything else too noteworthy. True Nade's in here, but again, we already have it. Bunch of Six Sam stuff. I am looking for more Monarchs, though. It's only one Monarch, and I really want Mobius more than anything, just because it's spell and trap removal. All right, pack number two. Let's see some more Monarchs, please. Uh, I will take a Gold Sark. Gold Sark is a fantastic card that I think actually gives a lot of use in this episode. You could argue that we don't play different dimension capsules, so why would you play this? Uh, that card sucks. Gold Sark's actually pretty strong. Searching any card in our deck and in two turns we get it. Seems pretty good to me. Also, Mind Control is particularly interesting. This was, I believe, a video game promo that we never had access to before. And so we have Synchros. While we can't use this for tributes in like a Monarch strategy, we can use it for Synchro Summoning. And so this actually changes a lot for some of our strategies. Royal Firestorm Guards, if I ever want to play Volcanics, is very funny. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Looking in the commons, though, thank God. We got the Mobius. Happy to see that. If I could get one or two more Mobius in these next three, I would be satisfied. Everything else, though, is all gold rares. All right, flip it up. Oh, my God. I fucking clicked past it. I clicked past it. I'm such an idiot, bro. Okay, we'll see what we get when we get to the end here. Pack number four, though. Oh, oh my god, what a pack! These all three are all-stars. Caius, Dad, and Prime Material Dragon, plus the third Volcanic Shell. This is an outstanding pack. I don't even care what I got in pack number three. I'm gonna be straight up honest. That's really good. All right, pack number three, Ryza or Caius, or preferably both. That would be nice. Uh, another Dark Arm Dragon. I'm not super excited about this, only because I believe Dark Arm Dragon is limited at this point. And if it's not, that's actually insane, because I can play two of this. We already have Bottomless. Another Firestorm Guards is funny. I guess that potentially turns Volcanic online. 
behind, especially if you've been pulling rockets. I haven't been checking on how many rockets I've pulled up until this point, but I'm pretty sure it's a common. I'm not, let me actually check. I think I still have this open here. Uh, ooh, rocket is a gold rare, so probably not super likely there, but we got another Mobius though. I am happy to see that. So we sort of have the makings of a monarch strategy. I think if we had Caius and Ryza, it would be a bit more well-rounded. Uh, Thestalos wouldn't be the worst either, but I think we've already gotten a place out of him now because he's common. So let's see what we get in our second to last pack here. I guess this set just wants me to play Volcanic. That's my third fucking Firestorm Guard and my first Volcanic Rocket, unless I somehow pulled one in Force of the Breaker, which I don't remember at this moment. If I did, that would be very funny. Wind Blast we've already had unlocked. There's a third Thestalos if we didn't already pull it. There's a third Mobius as well. So we've just got more back removal, which is decent. One more. Um, If we pull another Rocket, maybe we actually look at Volcanics potentially. All right, last pack. We'll see what we got in pack number three at the very close here. Slop, 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 slop. What do we get? Rocket, Prime Material, and a Volstagaff. Half the commons do not matter anymore because I'm sure we've already buffed out our sets. I gotta see what the third go-around was. Here's our Captain Gold Sangin and our Volstagaff. So at the bottom of this one should be the next three. Is that a second Caius? I got two Caius in this opening. Oh my god. And two Mind Control. Wow, that is really what I got. I got double Caius, Dark Arm Dragon, double Mind Control. What a fucking pull. I ain't even got to spend a redoer on this. This was outstanding. These were a lot of good cards to consider for the future, bro. I'm definitely going to put this one in. I ain't even got to think about it. Save it to the collection. Double Caius. Double Kai's dead. That's so good. What can I build? Last one. This has the potential to be uh, really interesting, I see. And I, a fourth fucking Firestorm Guards. But we did get a Caius. This is actually quite exciting. It's not Ryza, but Caius is arguably better sometimes. It depends on the circumstances. Caius is pretty sick. So uh, I cannot believe we got this many Firestorm Guards, though. That's ridiculous. Everything else I don't think matters because I think we have full play sets. I'm going to check. We're going to save this because I'm not respinning this. I'm going to check to see if I pulled any other like Volcanic Rockets out of Force of the Breaker because maybe... Maybe there is something with volcanics. Look who's ringing. The heroes are back on the line, ladies and gentlemen. I picked up another version of heroes that was sent in by I Wish I Was Dead. And oh boy, it looks interesting, man. I'll say it. The tech card of this time is the Immortal Bushi. When we pair it with a card like Painful Choice, it's a free dump that's going to be coming back during every single one of our standby phases. As long as all of our dudes in the bin are warrior type, we're able to bring him back which is pretty good. He plays under oppression because he can activate infinite amount of times, so Alex can't negate it. Um, hopefully, oppression puts in a little bit more work this episode than we did the last time when we piloted Harpies. This little package is something that I haven't played in a minute. The Triple Reckless Greed, Triple Offerings of Doom is something that I saw super early in Progression Series Series 2. Um, but this time we're playing it again because I think it's a pretty good uh, removal engine for anything that might be a little bit too sticky. Skipping your draw phase is a really big deal. I'm going to say, like, I feel like missing a draw phase a lot of the time is like, that card could mean everything, but also removing a face-up threat, um, either a floater that doesn't get its search or something that needs to be dealt with, something I can't get over with my own heroes, is going to, uh, I think, work out in spades. Card of safe return looks a little unassuming, but I think the thing is if we stick it on the field and then we can keep summoning Bushi back, it's like free advantage every turn, right? My only problem with this deck is it seems like it has a problem dealing with like bigger threats right like something that doesn't immediately get toppled over with skyscraper maybe some defense position dude or something like that i feel like it's going to stick around and i'm going to have a very difficult time dealing with it which is where cards like offerings to the doomed is going to be able to clean it up but i don't really want to be using offerings to the doomed on just some kind of like efficient monster that i can't deal with like some kind of like spirit reaper-esque card really if you will it's a lot of things in this list that look a little incomplete but then again, it also just looks consistent with the cards that are in it, right? Like, it should be okay. Side deck's not too bad. I think Mystic Swordsman level 2 is still one of the standout cards, especially in a warrior-based deck. We have the additional Searcher with Rhoda. Pulling the rug, we have a lot of Monarchs in this Gold Series set. I would not be surprised if Alex takes some kind of Monarch strategy to the table and pulling the rug would be able to blow him out. Of course, Feather Duster in the main deck now is mighty powerful for us. Uh, hopefully, Alex doesn't see it coming. Maybe we can get a plus, like, 3 or 4 off of it. Would be absolutely bonkers. And then True Nate has put itself into the side deck here. If I was playing a deck with a little bit more OTK power, I might consider maining the True Nade, but I'm not anywhere close to that with this type of list here. This is definitely going to be like more lower to the ground, just summoning a couple dudes. Maybe 1900 Alias should be able to fend off of any of Alex's monsters. I'm optimistic. I would have liked to play some of our cards like Caius and Dark Arm Dragon, but um, I feel like they really don't have a home in this list here in particular. So it's something we should consider for future episodes. Maybe I think playing a strategy that Alex wouldn't immediately telegraph, like uh, the Dark Arm Dragons or the Caius's, assuming we were to pull them, 
would also be a benefit to us. So that's why I'm taking Hero. I think the last time we played Heroes, we couldn't see out a win either. Hopefully we have different luck this time, right? Let's see what Alex is playing. Okay, so I know this may not be the most optimal time to be playing Monarchs in the Progression series, but I don't give a shit. I love this deck to pieces. I haven't had many opportunities to play because I've been stuck on two Thestalos and nothing else for the entirety of the series. So we are playing some Monarch, baby. Let's do the card by card. So we've got a breaker. Uh, we have one Caius, which is all we pulled, but we're playing a total of six Monarchs. So one Caius, one Mobius, triple Thestalos, and a Zaborg. If I pulled another Caius, I would just play it over the Zaborg because Caius is just like power crep Zaborg. The only advantage Zaborg has is that it's a light, which is kind of relevant. But the thing is, I've always liked this ratio. I've always been a Thestalos fan just because ripping cards out of Gage's hand is so strong because we typically want to save our best cards for the absolute best opportunity. And Thestalos can really disrupt those plays. And so I've just always liked Thestalos. There's really no other reason to it. Now we have a full three copies. We can really take advantage of it. There's also some fun things we can do with this deck as well once we get to it, which I'll explain a bit later. Uh, so we've got Warrior Lady just because like a decent monster and its removal. Dekoichi's in here because it just gets us more cards. And like one of the best things you can do is just flip a Dekoichi, draw, and then sack it for a Monarch. Uh, Guard actually synergizes quite well with Thestalos because if Gage attacks, we can bounce whatever he attacks with. Maybe Thestalos is out of his hand. So that's pretty good. Triple Spy because Spy is one of the best cards in Monarch because A, it's a huge wall, but B, summons another dude and C, you can just immediately sack it for a Monarch so you get free fodder. Same thing goes for Jujitsu Master. This is like a mini Rise of the Storm Monarch because it puts whatever uh, battles it back on the top of the deck. Then we can just sack it for a Monarch and we're really far ahead on advantage. I have the one Magician of Faith in here because we're playing a lot of powerful spells. Sadly, I only have one Soul Exchange, but we could recycle it potentially with Magician of Faith. And honestly, Brain Control and Snatch might be better anyway. The one value to Soul Exchange is that it can tribute set monsters. So this is a good out in case Gage has any weird flip effect things. We've seen what Morphing Jar has been doing in the series. So there's some utility there. We have the Morphing Jar, the Sangen, and the Reaper rounding out the monsters. The spells run two Book of Moon. Book's nice because we do have several flip effects, but also it's just good because it's both offensive and defensive depending on the circumstance. We've got the Brain Control with the Snatch and the Soul Exchange. Dark Gold Trunade. We are playing the Gold Sark. At the very least, Gold Sark can search for Pot of Greed, and then we just get to draw two cards in two turns. So that seems good to me. And then if there's a situation where we need a specific card, we're going to get it in two turns. So I really want to give this a shot as well. Feather Duster MST, and we are on the Avarice as well. We're playing 20-ish monsters, and so there's a pretty high likelihood we can go through a lot of these just because the spies are going to get themselves out of the field. And, you know, just have a mid to late game card like this just to be able to bring things back in our favor could be really nice. But this is also an easy side out if things uh, go a little bit quicker than anticipated. Throw the traps, we have a Ring of Destruction, Triple Royal Oppression. As you can see, I'm not really playing anything in my deck that special summons apart from Gravekeeper Spy, but most of the time this is going to trigger in the damage step anyway. So Royal Oppression, we pretty much are unaffected by it. And if Gage is playing a special summon heavy deck, then this card is going to obliterate him. If he is playing like a Monarch deck of his own, then we can swap these out for something else on the side. So it's really not that big of a deal. We also have the Triple Sack in here just to be able to protect our threats and Torrential Tribute rounding out the main 40. The extra deck's largely irrelevant. The side deck, I still have the Wombats in here just because Gage was playing Burr in the last two episodes. And while this card didn't win us the game necessarily, I think there's a world where it could have if I would have played a little bit differently. And on top of that, it's a card that if I don't have this and he plays Burn, then it's going to be a disaster. So I still like having this in here. Uh, I have Dark Arm Dragon in here, which may seem weird in the side, but with Oppression, Dark Arm Dragon gets like infinitely worse. And so this would be one of the things I would swap in if I take out the Oppression. Jinzo and Mobius are in here in case Gage is on like Chain Burn or some other back row heavy deck again, just so we have more answers for back row. I took off the Twisters for this because let's be honest, like these are just better Twisters most of the time. Same thing goes for Treeborn, right? I can't really have Treeborn and Royal Oppression in the same deck. And so if we take this out, then Treeborn can easily come in. Pre-mat's the same way. Again, you could probably play this with Oppression, but it's just really awkward if you draw it. So I kind of don't want to really be in that position. Then we're playing a Meta Call here in Warrior Elimination. This is just Dark Hole for Warrior Monsters. And I know Gage's Six Sam pool is actually pretty strong from the previous episode. So if there is the remote chance that he gets the idea to play Six Sam this episode, I want to just try to like meta game this and just have this as an answer. It's not the best answer, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, we have two Dust Tornado in here as well, just because it's more back removal in case Gage is playing like some stall type deck. And then if he decides to play Monarch, which again, with this set, it could be pretty likely, I have triple pulling the rug for like the mirror match. And I think that would just be a huge blowout. So I think this will be a lot of fun. I think it's cool that I get to play a deck that I absolutely love that I haven't had the chance to play up until this point in the progression series. And hopefully my Monarchs do me no wrong. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel.
Well, buddy, another reprint set in Gold Series 09. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty nervous for this because of one card in particular. This is the first chance we have to get another copy, or in your case, your first copy of Dark Arm Dragon. And I am not looking forward to seeing that on the opposite side if you pulled it. How are you yeah, feeling? I've been missing him since season one, bro. Hopefully I can nab a copy myself for season two here. You've been uh, you've been taking care, good care of it, but uh, I'll, I'll put him back into my wing here in a minute. Uh, Gold Series 2009, though, dude, crazy set, bro. A lot yeah. of the Gold Rare cards are really, really powerful. Our first time seeing them, too, like Kai and mind control. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. And that's one of the things I love the most about season two is that we get opportunities to A, get cards again that we wouldn't have gotten before, but B, just get brand new cards altogether that really alter what we can do. And some of these cards matter. Like you mentioned uh, mind control. Mind control is massive, not just now, but like later on potentially when we get to like Xyz and Lynx. And there, I, I love that we have the opportunity to start playing with these cards. I really think it levels up what our strategy potentials are. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, I'm curious what you brought to the table today. I'm curious as well. Hopefully you pulled five test tigers so that all those uh, best Yaris aren't going to do anything for Don't me. Don't remind but me, bro. <laughs> let's shout the patron, George Pinilos. Thank you for the support and apologies if I butchered your name. Let's see if we can win this rock, paper, scissors. Okay. okay. All right. Never all lucky. right. Sounds good. Uh, let's just do what we've been doing. I think going second still seems to be the move and best of luck to you, my friend. All right. Best of luck, Dolist. Let's get gaming. All right, I will go standby into my main phase. I will just set one back row and uh, I'm going to pass it to you, bud. Go ahead. All right. That's a pretty boring turn. I will draw standby main. I will up you here a bit. I'm going to go one, two, three three and throw back some very fair Yu-Gi-Oh going on here i will draw stand by main okay i will i'll reveal what i'm playing to you bud i'm going to pitch elemental hero captain gold to add sky back Spreaker. on this decided to bring back the heroes for another spin okay. my captain gold can actually resolve unlike somebody else <laughs> that i know played this deck. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine. That I'm is gonna fine. take skyscraper and I'm gonna add it to my. You hand. go ahead and take your skyscraper. Right. Be my guest. I'm gonna play the scraper and I'm gonna pair it with the best normal summon I got, Wild Heart. Ooh, there. that's pretty good. Okay, so this is both good and bad. So it's good because you are gonna clear. It's bad because it's my legendary jujitsu. Oh, it's the oh the jujitsu master. All right. So Wild Heart's going back on top. Yeah. All right. He'll go back on top. But I'll tell you what, man. Drawing him for turn doesn't feel too bad for me. I'm gonna take three. Damage as well. Uh, no, 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 no. Skyscraper okay, ups yeah, him to a thousand. Skyscraper makes it biggest. Trust fun. me, I wish I kept this jujitsu <laughs> master. <laughs> All right, I'll just go main two. I will add another one and I'll pass it to you, buddy. Go ahead. Actually, no, hold on. I get to keep this jujitsu master because my <laughs> jujitsu master has lower attack than your wild heart. Wait, are you kidding? Wait, what do you mean? Because skyscraper, it only gains the attack if the monster it's attacking has lower attack than, or that's higher attack than your monster. Oh my god, bro, that's so <laughs> fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, we're, we're so used to this that you're usually hitting over something yeah. and it matters. So, okay, this is really So funny, I am actually. taking 300. And you are taking you're keeping the keeping Jiu-Jitsu Master. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, does this alter your turn at all? I will, it doesn't. I'll, let you go I'll back tell you what, okay. I'm still going to just pass. Go ahead. Okay, well, I feel pretty good about that. I'll go ahead and draw. We'll go into main one here. And you know, I'm kind of just chilling here. Wish I had like more I can do, but it's kind of fine. I, let's see. So you can't out my jujitsu master with your current dude. So that's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and set a monster and I will just throw it to you. All right. I wonder what could be on the top there. Could be anything. Stand by main. What is this other face down now, bro? You wouldn't like purposely throw it into the wild heart, right? Imagine it's a second jujitsu master. <laughs> Imagine, what are the chances of that? Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. I'll go battle phase. Let me let me see it. Uh, this one's Sangen. Okay, all right. Still, I don't need the boost to get over Sangen. Don't worry. No, that is true. That is very true. Uh, we'll go dig in here, see what we want. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the warrior lady. Okay. Bad bitch, that's fine. I will go main phase two, and then, unfortunately, I will be passing my turn there. Go ahead. Uh, we'll draw standby main. See what I want to do now. Good old wild heart. I think I'm going to set a card. I, I gauge, it could be literally anything, let me tell you. Uh, and I'll set another card down, go ahead. Okay, um, I will draw. Stand by main. Uh, I'll just set another one and uh, I'll throw this wild heart to defense. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, running into warrior lady doesn't do me too good, right? I'll just pass here, go ahead. Sure, uh, we'll draw. Stand by main. 
Been a pretty boring game so far, buddy. Yeah, it's been a lot of uh, defense position dudes right here. <laughs> and doing absolutely nothing. Honestly, I'm a bit content. Go ahead. All right. Snoozer, bro. Let's draw. Um, stand by me. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead, bud. <laughs> Thrilling gameplay on our end here. I'll draw. Wow. This is lame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw another one down. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. I mean, that's pretty good. You know what this reminds me of? Do you remember that Pokemon episode where there's like the two Metapods just And they're just hardening? looking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally us right now. Uh, I'll just pass again. Go ahead. We have some very reactive stuff that we all want to play. I mean, one. And uh, I, <laughs> I'm just going to pass. Yeah, all right. Stand by main. All right. Well, I mean, let's do it. Alex, um, my wheel has been very kind to me this week. I got oh something that you've had possession of for a bit, and it's been backbreaking. Uh -oh. And I'm hoping it has the same result when I throw it down right now. I'm going to activate my own copy of Harpy. You got a snatch steal? <laughs> Maybe not a snatch steal, uh, but I did roll a, a fancy promo slice on the yeah. wheel, so I may want to grab one. Oh, shit. This is not good. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay. Uh, so we're going to chain this MST. Sure. Uh, let's go after one of your backer. I don't know what I want to take out. I'm going to target this. Do you have a response? I do not. That's going to be fine. Okay. And then I will also chain book on my own jujitsu master. Uh, I will chain link three. I think I got something here. Um, chain link four. Chain link four, excuse me. Yeah. I'm going to chain link four offerings to the doomed, and I will target the legendary jujitsu master. Fascinating. I do not have a response to that. Everything resolves? Everything resolves. All right. He's cool. gone. This is gone. This is gone. That gets destroyed. I'm glad I missed that with the MST. Uh, hey, look what I had. <laughs> hey, we're having a good time today. All right. I'll follow it up with an activation of painful choice. Yikes. All right. Yikes indeed, See how painful bro. this choice right. is. I'm going to give you some rough decisions here. You don't, you're not going to recognize this guy. There's no shot. I'm going to put out three copies of the Immortal Bushi. Sure. I've seen this uh, before. You've seen it before? Maybe once or twice. Um, I'll put out a Neos alias and... It's like no shot, you just don't give me the Bushi. So, um, I'll also put out an e-call. Sure. Uh, yeah, Bushi's the pick. Yeah, all right, cool. So I'll put him in hand and then the rest in the bin. Okay. I know that face down is a DD warrior lady. You don't sure. know that it's a DD <laughs> warrior lady, Gage. <laughs> you can't fool me, Alexander. All right, I'm going to summon uh, another copy of Wildheart. Sure. Shift to attack and then I'll go battle phase. Put one in. Fool! <laughs> no, no, how, how could you? All right, would you like right. to banish it? <laughs> Take your hundred first of yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, no, well, I don't I'm take any Skyscraper. Oh, wait, no, no, there's a same. There's a tie, tie you same. idiots. This, this Skyscraper's been the worst card in the deck so far. I see why you didn't play it with the Captain Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sided it out because it was too bad. No, you can keep the wild heart. I'm not banishing. Oh, you're not? All right, all right. No. You're just, just walling up a little bit. I can't yeah, get wall up. You can't Damn, that was this. really dumb. I actually couldn't clear it. Oh, my God. All right, uh, we'll go main two. I'll set a card, and then I will just pass the turn to you, buddy. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, I'll go ahead and draw. Finally, we got something we can fucking do. All right. Main one, you saw two back row, which I'm not feeling too great about, but you're also playing this deck, so I feel perfectly fine with that. Uh, let's go for it. I'm going to sack Thestalos. Rise. Oh, shit. The, the Monarch. Um, Is the effect going to work? It's going to go through. Yeah. I don't have any response. In that one. This one? Yep. Is it's, it the Bushi? It's Excellent. the Bushi. Awesome. So I'll take that. Fantastic. Uh, that was the plan. I'll take You'll 300. take 300. Yep. Yes. Backbreaking. All right. Uh, so the only problem here is that now your Wild Hearts can actually clear me. But to be fair, I'm going to have to start clearing these things at some point anyway. So uh, we'll just try to hit in. Um, I'll let you clear one of them. That's fine. Sure. So you'll take nine, and then second main, I'm just going to pass to you. Go ahead. All right. I will not draw for Not turn draw because you're offerings. offerings to the doomed. Yes, yes, yep. yes, yes. Oh, wow. That's a really good card, actually. All right, well, I'm just going to go battle, and I'm going to uh, beat over your Thestalos. I'll take my 100. That's fine. Awesome. I will go main phase two. First thing, Skyscraper's done anything this whole I, game. I know, right? I know. <laughs> um, I'll just pass it over to you, bud. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Well, worked for you. Ah! Ah! Well, I mean, it's about the most value I'll get off of this. Uh, I will activate Hero Blast, and I'll pick back up Neos Alias from the bin. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, he's back in my hand, and the rest go into grave. Another oppression. Yep. Very funny. The, the best card in the matchup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I know you have. I don't think I know the last card. I know you have your stupid alias now. I'll just throw one down and throw it back. Okay, I will draw for turn. Get to draw back. this turn. Yeah, I yes. Do. So I'll take one off the top. Bro, it's gonna be another jujitsu master. It's gonna be so stupid. <laughs> um. 
you have the alias? What are you worried about? <laughs> He'll just draw the alias. Right? I'm going to activate Hero City. Oh, the other Hero City. Yes, the, okay. the, the Skyscraper 2. And, the one uh, I don't have. Yes. <laughs> I will um, activate this effect, and I'll target the Wild Heart since it was destroyed by battle. Right? Was it? What, this One of them was taken out by battle. Yeah, by your, your Thestalos. Does it have to be up for it to recognize that first? I don't imagine so, right? Like, it just recognizes the card's been destroyed by battle. Well, I guess after some digging, it does not have to be up for that, so it, it gets seen. Sure. Nice. Well, the only one that's been destroyed by battle is this Wild Heart, so we'll put him back on the board here. Nice value. And I'll pair him with the Neos Alias, and I will go straight into this Jiu-Jitsu Master. And none of them are good enough to beat Grave. Oh Force my Spira. god, I can't! <laughs> Whoa, I can't beat Spy! Oh, that thing's <laughs> really big oh no have another one for good measure oh no i don't have a skyscraper on the field anymore <laughs> you're only well, one i've got gray. i've got the other skyscraper on the field now <laughs> <laughs> well shit i'll dougie this one to defense and i'll just pass you <laughs> all right draw well not that great i guess we can start to get things going here still sitting on a card that's not really doing much uh it's not the best value but whatever uh we'll go for mobius take this out <sighs> yep all right see you hero city and we'll go for the wild heart yep Wild heart down. Three, nine. All right. Uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. Draw. Oh, man. The guys are looking in rough shape. <laughs> I'll, move, I'll, I'll move them to defense, and I'll just pass. Go ahead. Interesting. All right. I'll draw. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, that's not as good as I want to be, actually. I take that back. Drawing and passing. It's kind of annoying because... Even if I do clear all your things, you're just going to get everything back with the Bushies. Well, Bushi just brings himself back. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Just the one Bushi. I, I, are you scared of that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if you're scared don't of that. Don't you just get to activate all three of them? No. So you read the last line of text. It's not as oh. good as you think. Oh, okay. This card actually, I, I thought I was like, oh, this is actually kind of crazy, but no. It would be. It would worse. be. Yeah. It's nice. It's, 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 it's a dude. That's something. Really want to put on more pressure, but I don't think I can. Uh, I'll just go to battle. Let's take out. I'm going to think if there's a reason to go for one or the other here. Let's take out the alias. Okay, no problem. And then second main, I'll throw another set down. I'll pass it back. All right, I will draw. I have to do this. Uh, the cr the bane of my existence, dude, was that spy, actually. I, I When's the last time we seen spy? Like episode It's been a 10? while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I did not expect to try to hurdle over a 2,000 defense point monster. So uh, Dark Hole will be able to clean it up, though. I had a feeling you were sitting on this, so I didn't really want to set this. You got my Magician of Fate. Oh, sadly. okay, huge, so, huge. I'll take pretty it. Pretty good for you there. Uh, I'll throw down a warrior lady and I'll put 15 in. I'll take it. Cool. I'll follow it up with a set card and I'll just pass it back to you. I will draw. Main one. I'll just throw down a pair and I'll throw it back. Exciting. I will draw. Stand by into the main. I'll play the one of Rhoda. Not bad. It's right. limited now, it unfortunately. Is limited. It is limited. Uh, it actually benefits me because I never had more than one. <laughs> this could be kind of cheeky, bro. I don't... What do I want? No, nah, I got. I got to get this guy. I got to get the Stratos. Not bad. Deck the hand, bro. Uh, I'll normal summon him, and I'll activate his on summon effect. Keep the advantage going. Sure. Nice. Uh, I'll pick up a. I'll pick up an alias off of him. Sure. And then I will go battle phase. I'll attack with the warrior lady first. Either of these are great. Uh, I'm gonna sack the warrior lady. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And then I'll put the Stratos into the uh, the face down here. He's back. <laughs> He's back. They are even, and you will stack them to the top. I don't. Yeah, you which, know what? It's gonna be funny. I don't mind drawing another Stratos yeah, that's for turn. The thing. It's either it's either I lose the Jujitsu Master <laughs> and stop you from searching again, or I keep it and you get a search. Yeah, again. I just really so, don't. I don't mind giving him. So all right. Yeah. Uh, he's back on top. It is your move. Go ahead, Duelist. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, let's go Reaper. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Reaper's fine. Three. I'll take it. Yeah, and then you want to okay. dump the alias out? I would like to. See ya. All right, I got a back row. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, draw. During the standby phase, the immortal Bushi triggers. He is very Bushi. Yep, yeah. you have all warriors. The Bushi Bushi coming in in attack position there. And then That's uh, perfectly fine. I will go to main phase one. I mean, you already know he's on top here, so we'll summon him again, and I'll trigger the Stratos. No response. Nice. It's your final alias, I believe. Final alias? I got a couple more cards in here. Um... But I do believe he might be the best. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. Why did you get a Captain Gold and, uh, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then set Captain Gold, bro? Somebody, <laughs> hey, I, I know somebody that knows all about how good play that play is. Yeah, <laughs> it's good enough to beat you. <laughs> uh, all right, battle phase. Sure. 12 into your Spirit Reaper. 
Take nine. And then 18 into your Spear Reaper. I'll ring the Stratos. I'm like okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we both take 18. Yep. Okay. Um, Your move, Duelist. I'll draw. Uh, it's not a terrible one. Attack mode. Yep. Uh, Battle. Yep. Under. Speaking of ring, I'll ring up your uh, Jiu-Jitsu Master there. Go take 13. I'd rather Down not lose this card off the Reaper. Understandably, uh, I was really hoping I could get you there. Uh, we'll put Reaper to defense because he did not attack. I know you have Alias. The Bushi literally doesn't do anything now. I have not summoned, so I will set one, throw two. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. All right, I got to start actually thinking about what this face down could be. You've gone through two <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu Masters. A real thing is... You have all the monarchs in the game now, like, assumably, with this gold series. So Gold series was very generous to me, I yes, will say. Yes, 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 yes. As far as flip effects, I don't know if there's any... I think Moth's still banned, so technically at one in our format. Moth is at one, yes. I don't think I'm scared of the face down. Uh, all right, I'm going to throw out the Neos alias. Sure. Battle, I'll try to get over the face down here. It is Gravekeeper's Guard. Uh, all right, 19. You want to bounce him back? Uh, Thinking who I want to bounce back, actually. Let's bounce back the Bushi. Okay, I'll take him. Um, main two, I'll set a back row and I'll pass. Go ahead. A back row. A. All right. Uh, main one, I'm going to sack guard for the new Caius wow. the Shadow Monarch. Wow, he got off one. Off the oh. top. Yep, okay, that's smelly. All right. Okay. Uh, go for the back row. I guess I will chain it. Offerings to the doomed. I will okay. hit the Caius once again. Not bad. Uh, so he's gone. So is your offerings. And game one to Simo. <laughs> Give me that alias, boy. Yeah, yeah. That was a close one. Damn. All right. That game was two. a good game one. Wow. Phew. Even after skipping a draw phase with Offerings of the Doom, bro, that was still a close one. I was still yeah. really close. I, I ran you out of cards that I think did anything. You had like five cards in hand, but like <laughs> you were like set in Spear Reaper. I was like, all right, well, hey, we got a game on our hands. I think you finally were able to see the problem in the opening for me is I just had too many monsters and I just like had nothing to do with them. So yep. yeah, that uh, happens when you play this deck sometimes. Hopefully you get a better curve this time. Uh, let's hope this game doesn't go as long as that one. That was a close one. <laughs> I'll go second, bud. Good luck, okay? All right. No shock to me. Let's see what you got. Not a bad grip for going first. Uh, let's go ahead and set one, two, three, and throw it back. All right, I will draw. Stand by main. All good for me. I'll go for gold here. Yeah, there he is. Go my for it. My man, my man, taking the skyscraper. Awesome. A Brahma gets shit on by Jujitsu Master again. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's going to happen, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to skyscraper. Okay. And I'm a wild heart. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, sure. Just show me it, just show me it. <laughs> attack, attack. Uh, it's Warrior Lady, so you're going to take oh, 100. All right. Uh, I, they're, they're even attacked. They really are. All right. Do you want to yep. banish the wild heart? No, I think you can keep him around. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I'll stick him around for a bit here. I'll go main two. I will set one and two, avoiding your imperm columns, and I'll pass to you. Appreciate it. Playing like a good player. Uh, main phase one, soul exchange. What the fuck? Oh my god! Yo! Yeah, I ain't got a response to that. Okay. All right, fuck your back row. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it's it, it worked out pretty good for me. I'll chain Reckless Greed, and I'll chain Reckless Greed. <laughs> wow! Okay, I guess it didn't matter. Right. Yeah, I'll that's pretty good. Four cards off the top of my deck. And of course you had double Reckless, too. Yeah, like yeah, one right? One Reckless, I would have felt pretty good. The yeah, ultimate value four. off of your Mobius. Thank you. All right. Jesus Christ. Uh, I cannot attack, so pass to you. You do not draw. Yes, that is one turn on Reckless Greed. I'll mark that in the chat for all the viewers. Lovely. I'll go. I'll do a little cleanup duty. Uh, dark Hole. Yep, they're gone. Nice. Um... Man, double reckless. I was feeling so good about I bet that. you were. I bet you were. I'll yeah. go Captain Gold. <laughs> he made sure. it. He made it on the field. He did. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I run into your Saku now? That's the thing. It's like I get beat up by Saku. Um, if not, I just sit on this, and he's fucking huge, bro. I don't, you can't out him. I'll keep him up, you know? I'll set one, and uh, I will set another, and I will pass it to you, Yugi boy. Well, draw. Not particularly great. Go ahead. Nice. Uh, during the end phase, I'll activate another Reckless Greed. Christ. Okay, sure. Cool. I'll take two more. That'll reset the timing reset on the Reckless counter. Greed. Yeah, there yep. you go. 
Uh, say that's back on one. All right, I'll just I'll get punched in here. Um, I'm gonna go Stratos, and I'm gonna go Stratos effect to search. That's fine. Off of Stratos, I will pick up a Neos alias from the deck. Sounds good to me. Battle eighteen. Sack him. Okay. Do you have a second one? <laughs> um, <laughs> twenty one. I have something even funnier. <laughs> That, Blow up the sky yeah, screen. No, the Captain Gold, man. <laughs> the one for it's two. Like, <laughs> it's like I wasn't playing Skyscraper at all. No. All right, he's gone. And then, uh, <laughs> see ya. All right. <laughs> all right, I'll go main phase two. I will set one. Sure. And uh, I will I will pass it to you, bud. Go ahead. Pretty funny. Uh, I'll draw. I'll just set and pass. Go okay. ahead. Turn two on Reckless for you. Yes, that is turn two on Reckless. I'll be drawing next turn if all goes to plan. Uh, I'll summon the Neos alias. Big guy. Yep. 19 in. You're going to be drawing another card. <laughs> right, hey, know. man. <laughs> it could be worse. All right. Uh, we'll put him on top, and then I'll just pass it to you. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Uh, try for the pre-mat. Target? Go after the Mobius. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll bring the big boy back. Try to hit for 24. I'm going to take it, yep. Oh, man. You got, is that good? Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking of main phase two. Okay. I jumped the gun a little bit here. Let me think. I know you're drawing into alias, yes? Yes. No, nah, you're fine. Go ahead. Okay, cool. I will draw into <laughs> alias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll set one. I'll set two, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Walling up. Uh, hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second main. Your dark hole's gone. That makes me feel slightly okay. Uh, we'll set one throw to you. Okay, I will draw. Stay in my main. Yep. I'll set a card, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Man has a million back row. 24. He's really getting in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it. And say, you gotta stop me. Uh, I'm good. Go ahead. Stand by main. Alias. Sure. I'll take the Mobius. Not bad. Sure. Battle phase. What do we got here? It could be Spirit Reaper. There's a lot of things it could be, actually. Yeah. it's, a, it's You a, saw it's a lot a of my deck game one. It's a toss-up. It could really be another Jiu-Jitsu Master, which, uh, yo, if I Jiu-Jitsu Master, like, put your Mobius back on top, that's a major tempo play. If it's Spirit Reaper, at most I'm just missing out on a bit of damage, I think. All right. I, I think this is the play. I am going to go Mobius into your face down. It's a Spy. Okay. Um, so I get a spy. Yeah, that's fine. To wall up a bit here. Okay, still in the battle phase. This ended up quite well. I will hero blast. Oh, I see. The Neos alias, and that'll be able to pop this uh, Gravekeeper spy. Yes, it will. And then I'll get him for 19. I'll take it. Nice. Uh, main two. I think that's my turn. Um, I will just pass it over to you, okay? Okay. I will draw. Gain 1,000. Gain 1,000 from Snatch. Thank you very much. All right, it's got a bit awkward for me. I'm surprised after seeing six cards early with Reckless Greed, I'm still not, like, I still don't feel ahead on this game. <laughs> Let's give it a try, I guess. I will True Nade. Mm-hmm. I, what's going to happen here? Does the Mobius go to Bin? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what I was wondering. So, from what... I'm understanding, and this is uh, what Coder confirmed, because I had checked with him on this. Uh, apparently, the Mobius just comes back to my control. The Premature actually doesn't change anything here. Because Premature doesn't have to... It only, when it's destroyed, destroys the... Oh, that no, yeah, because you could totally loop pre -mat. I forgot how good this right, card was. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Mm. You can see why it took me a minute to think about this, because it, it's just weird. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah. <laughs> All the goat people are watching this like, oh, I know how this works. I, you wouldn't make this play unless you're literally gaming me this turn. All right. I mean, I think I have to do this. I'm going to activate offerings on your own Mobius. Anything else in response? No other responses to True Nade, no. Okay. So Mobius gets destroyed which then destroys both pre-mat and snatch before they get bounced back? Correct. Okay. So these both go. Offerings goes. You don't draw. I don't the draw. back row go, go back to hand. your hand. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, five monsters in grave for Avarice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on. We had the contingency plan all warmed up. All right. Yeah. Take your two. All right, we'll draw them. I shuffled plenty. Mm. 
was hoping it was going to be a little bit better. I'll be honest. Uh, we'll just go set. I know you hero blasted me, so I know you have an alias in hand, correct? Correct. Yes. Thank you. We'll go one, two. Back to you. Okay. Don't draw off of offerings. Correct. Stay in my main. Feel pretty good about that. <sighs> Normal another alias. Sure. <laughs> Battle. Can't beat 2,000. <laughs> I, oh, I really can't. Yeah. We'll get another one. Yep. One, two. Go ahead, my guy. Two back row. Interesting. All your recklesses are gone. Sure, I'll draw. That's not a bad one. That is not a bad one. I am going to sack a spy for Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. Yeah. My first one of the series. Yeah. Uh, I will attempt to pop an alias. I had this card flipped on me before. I, I I feel like it's not doing enough here, but it might be strong. I'm going to pulling the rug. <laughs> pulling the rug. Okay. I sure, expected, fair play. I expected fair you play. might play a couple of monarchs with this, uh, this new gold series set. So might have been a nice shoe in there. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Interesting. Still one more back row, huh? Okay. Uh, we'll pass. Draw. All right. I can thin by five. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not sure. bad. Bushy. Bushy, Bushy, Bushy. Bushy. <laughs> bushy. Uh, what else do I want here? Um, I'll bring Koser. Oh, I see what your little game was here. Okay. Okay. I got one more card to pick from. Um, and I'll give a uh, an E call too. Sure. It's going to be the Bushy. There's no surprises I, I, here. Normally, yeah. That's, that's, oh, no. Okay. I'll take him. And then the rest will go to Bin. Righto. Um, Painful the grave. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I will set literally anything. <laughs> uh, your move, bud. We'll draw. Uh, let's set one, and I will just chuck it back. Okay, I'll draw. I'll pass. Go ahead. End phase, I'm going to dust your back row. Unfortunate, but okay. <sighs> yeah, that's a big one. Right. <laughs> that's, that's a big one. This is, I, I think I'm about to scar you for the rest of your life. I'm going to flip Gravekeeper's Guard, bounce this back to your hand. Okay. I am going to normal Jujitsu Master. Okay. Activate Warrior Elimination. What the? <laughs> Alex, did you side that shit? I 100% sided this shit. What is actually wrong with you? You, you, you I thought you were going to go on six Sams because the six Sam cards are so good. Bro, I, I, this metagame is unbelievable. You, <laughs> you willingly put warrior elimination in your side deck, bro. And it won you the game. Response? Do you know how, no, do you know how stupid that is? That sounds, I can't believe this shit. What the fuck? Let's just, see the gores, buddy. Oh, wait, you don't know. I don't that. have to. What's go? just happened? <laughs> This game has been so fucking dumb. <laughs> Let me see this last card. What is this? It was a faith. I just drew that for turn, I think. Dude, I got oh warrior elimination. <laughs> I can't believe it. I got Raigeki. So, yeah. So my thinking was I had this for six Sams because I know you have a good six Sam pool. And this set is like all six Sam support yeah, for the most yeah. part. So I was like, if there's anything you're missing or if there's an opportunity for you to play six Sam, this would be it. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a guess here. And if he does play it, I have this in the side just in case. And you happen to play Little City and they're all warriors. So you know what? It happens to have overlap. You know, you know honestly, well played. I ain't got much else to say, bro. That's uh, that's uh, pulling the rugs in the side too in case you went monarch because obviously i know you have a good monarch strat as well so i prepared for both sides of gold series of what you put could have gotten from that as a result if that makes yeah. you feel it probably not but <laughs> this list was like it was kind of cool there are some cute interactions with like the bushy and stuff but it was one of the main concerns i had actually and it, it was realized in this game too is like there's not enough like ways to push through things right sure, like you're sure. you're when you had jujitsu in defense i literally don't have a way to out that right like i had to offerings it to get rid of it right. so like or like I, alias hit and then have it go back so yeah and like, it's not especially great. with cards like spy and guard which i mean i didn't even yeah. see game one like it, it feels like insurmountable like your card quality is just way better than my dudes right like sure. my dudes are pretty good sure. when paired with like skyscraper and stuff but when skyscraper doesn't get any value i can't i can't i just can't beat these big guys sure yeah, my thinking was that I mean, you know I love monarchs. There's no no sh no surprise there. Yep. So I, I had to give monarchs a spin because I've been stuck on two Thestalos the entire series, and so I finally pulled 
all the Mobiuses, all the Zaborgs. Uh, I pulled a third Thestalos, because I think Thestalos is actually fantastic for the hand ripping effect. Uh, I pulled the one Caius as well. No Ryza, but uh, one Caius is perfectly fine. It's basically just upgraded Zaborg for all intents and purposes. And I played a pretty like low to the ground, pretty slow Monarch deck, but I was on Oppression in case you were playing a, uh, I was expecting you to play not an Oppression deck. What are the chances every time I, we it, play Oppression, both times, yeah, we're both like... on it. It's every time it's happened so no, far. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, this is the worst <laughs> card in progression series and it's like yeah. it's bad because neither of us have anything to use it exactly. on. Exactly. No, precisely. So the only thing in my deck that specials is spy and spy is usually going to happen in the damage steps. You can't even oppression it anyway. So uh, for the most part, I'm per I'm playing under it the whole time. I actually had uh, pre-mat in the sideboard and once I saw you were on a royal oppression strategy, I brought I figured you were going to side out your oppressions because you saw that it was so dead against me and you figured I was on monarch that I bring in all the cards that I'm allowed to play. So I brought in pre-mat, I brought in treeborn frog, I brought and just all these things that don't really work with oppression really well just to strengthen my deck a little bit more and uh i guess it works yeah i mean <laughs> I uh, it, it, if anything the the oppression has been an easy side out in these matches here like exactly I, like I said i traded yeah. it for cards like pulling the rug and then mystic swordsman level two and something else too that would have been a little bit more better yeah, but, swordsman's um, pretty good yeah swordsman's i didn't get, didn't get to see them but damn no i bro the, this low to the ground kind of like big beefy butt strategy it worked out it was yeah. actually like the perfect counter to this list it was just old school monarch i really felt my comfort zone like even in the last game when you were like recklessing me and just having all these cards like i felt like pretty in control the whole time i, yeah. I wasn't really sweating yeah like i said I, I can't believe i resolved reckless three times and i still <laughs> i still felt behind that whole game i was like i really yeah. can't just beat your guys so yeah no i mean but you you have a harpy's feather duster now i that, do oh talk about an equalizer oh, on your God. end yeah because... i can't i can't wait till next episode you're like so you want to judgment out harpy feather duster <laughs> <laughs> now that we both have it but but no i mean i, I got the promo slice on the wheel which was really big but yeah. it wasn't as easy as a clear cut as harpy's feather duster, right there's a it, lot of good promos. there's a lot of good promos especially yeah. now as we just keep getting sets and sets deeper i'm like do i take light and darkness dragon i even thought Ooh. like do i take thousand eyes restrict because that's a okay. master collection promo and that's sure, really good with like sure. instant fusion magical there's so many options bro that you could I have gotten gores right. gores I, is a promo i could have gotten a gores i could have gotten a gores yeah. but i really think like it was a no-brainer to take feather duster right like i i looked and it's like we had a reprint in tournament pack eight and then the next time we see it is 2012 when we get battle yep. pack so it's like yep. we we ain't seen the card forever yeah so. if anything maybe we'll judgment feather duster like may well it depends how well i've had it a long time so maybe we'll like judgment it when we get closer to like XYZ XYZ or so we've both yeah. had yeah so that way we've both had our time with it because i don't want to do anything with it immediately obviously because you just got it but yeah it's uh, uh, we don't want to have like another cyber dragon scenario right like right, where we just get access to three copies but it's already been removed from both of our pools. it also just might even be fine it's a one of it's something that we have to just you know we have to be considered the fact that it's in the format and it's i don't know compared to some of the other cards we have banned like feather duster it's like okay we actually play a lot of stun and random bullshit sometimes having a little equalizer like that isn't the worst can i just tell you though having mobius feels so good after yeah I, oh time. my god i bet yeah you're probably like oh i'm raking it in all the yep. monarchs when did you get copies of soul exchange how many you had in i that? only had one one of my tournament packs or champion pack whatever like uh, losing circle opportunity I, I only have one so the one that you saw at this game that was the only copy of soul exchange i have yep. but i have a brain con and i have a snatch deal which are technically more copies of it anyway and probably better for all intents and purposes so yeah i had to make up for the fact i didn't have triple soul exchange so my my monarch deck was probably a little bit weaker than what yours could have been but uh it was still something i wanted to try out and, and i guess it ended up working out you've been pretty keeping uh pretty quiet about what you got in your gold series though you want to you want to spill some uh spill some not secrets really too much i mean you saw the caius that wasn't really too surprising i did manage to pull a card we have not had in progression yet i pulled the gold sark nice nice that was one so, of the ones that yeah you just don't have access to pretty cool yeah card. because it's been it's been uh it was a prize card initially so we yep. had no way to really get this previously and this card like this if you don't have anything to do with it just search as pot of greed in two turns yeah. so to me I, like yeah that's good I mean, enough especially for especially for us that's crazy yeah okay yeah so i figured i wanted to give this a shot i didn't draw it so i never really had the chance to show it off but gold sark was in almost like every deck back in the day and for good reason because the games go long enough like you saw like i could have searched like an avarice in the late game the previous game you just get whatever you need i could have searched warrior elimination that would have <laughs> you would have like shit your pants if you saw that but, i would have been like whoa uh, in two turns i've lost yeah. the game that's <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I pulled that. I pulled another Dark Arm Dragon, which is like cool, but dad's limited now. So yep. it's like not that great. <laughs> a 
Okay, I think the universe wanted me to play Volcanics. I pulled triple Firestorm guards and a rocket. I only have one rocket. Whoa. That kind of sucks. Those are those are gold rares too. Like those aren't easy to get. Yeah. No, exactly. I pulled like I think I pulled four Firestorm guards actually across the whole opening. I think one out of every pack was a Firestorm guard, except for the first pack that I opened and the rocket too. So I actually almost rolled up here with some sort of volcanic deck, but couldn't bring myself to do it. Did you have and to spend any redoers to get yourself the dad and the Caius this time around? No, I didn't. Uh, the Caius was in the last pack. And honestly, like the stuff in here is fine. I don't think there's anything like game breakingly strong. And the fact that I got the gold Sark and like one Caius, I could have tried spinning for multiple Caius or like Ryza's and stuff, but I'm like, eh, it's not really worth it. I think there's better sets down the road. What about you though? You've also been keeping quiet about what you got. I've been pretty keeping quiet actually. I didn't bring any of the cards that I got for a strategy today because they just didn't fit in. But okay. I got some killer pulls, Alex. Didn't have to spend the redoer. And nice. I got myself the Dark Arm Dragon, just Horse. like you. I got Horse. one for me. And I also, I got two copies of Caius the Shadow Monarch. Ooh, uh, okay. Two yeah, copies. Two, and that right, wasn't even it. I also got two copies of Mind Control, too. So I, oh, I think I... Well, I did get a Mind Control. I forgot about that. I, I got one copy. Not sure when we can play. It'll be a lot better when we move to XYZ, I think, or if we start to play more like generic synchro decks, where yeah. like maybe we'll leave a tuner on the board or something. But sure. up until then, um, I got two of them stored in the bank, which I, I was really stoked to see that card. But oh man, I think those two Caiuses, I might have to build something with nasty. that. This round. I didn't want to build yeah. any like constructed Monarch deck this time around, because I thought you would have uh, a strategy built against it just because of how apparent they were to come in the uh, the set. But um, yeah. man, just for the future though, I feel really good about those pulls. This set has been a lot of fun to open. I agree. I think this has definitely been one of the better. I mean, oh, these episodes in Prague lately have been kicking ass. This oh, has they, been amazing. I, dude, I, I wait for it every week, man. I love it, bro. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim's Zero X3, Moto, MBT Play, Medulce, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark Part 2, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Phoenix, Phoenix the Immortal, I ship MBT and Simo, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Little Fade Leaf, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet Indian to Tai Show, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Max Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Simping for Simo, Cheeks McLafferty, Stolfin Amethyst, Dalton LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by committee soon cancel by all players soon all yus unis the bus the undertaker versus simo and mbt shrugs x the crystal beast enthusiast itf and corvain thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time